So what is preservation I hear you ask? Preservation is the management of risk to collections to restrict the rate of loss of collection value to an optimum low level. Mandy has arrived at her local library ready to study. With her she brings a coffee, some cake and a juice. She is careful with them but accidents happen, and accidents with food and drink in a library can be disastrous. Even if no spills occur or crumbs are left behind these moist, sticky and sugary substances will end up in beans ready to attract insects or grow mold. Let's look at what damage food and drink can do to paper resources in a library. Dampness from drink spills can attract insects and rodents, grow mold, stain and damage pages and bindings. Food crumbs and oils can deteriorate the paper, bindings and glues used in books as well as attracting insects and rodents which enjoy munching on a good book if it is available. So unless you want to see this while visiting the library, or encounter one of these, or concentrate next to a nest of these, I won't bring these items into the library again, and I will inform staff if I see any full or overflowing bins especially if they have food scraps in them. On my next visit I will just bring with me a notepad and pencils so that I can enjoy my library and all it offers while helping to preserve it for others. These rules also help to protect the many other resources and equipment found in the library. So let's recap what Mandy has learned today. Wallace simply states that preservation is about the management of risk to collections. By making our library a food and drink free zone, we are minimizing the risk to our collection and the environment in which our collection is housed. However, these rules are important to also consider when using the collection out of the library environment. Thank you for helping us provide a collection that is accessible and yet still preserved for future users.